Hey guys, I am going to be doing an empty bottle review today and what an empty bottle review is just that. I am actually just going to be doing reviews on products that I finished. Um, they're empty and I'm going to give you either, I'm either going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down on whether I will be purchasing them again and what I think of the products. And um, none of the products that I have today are uh, do I, am I an affiliate with? So uh, I always put the disclaimer in there. If I'm an affiliate with a product, I will try to remember to put it in my videos. Um, if not, it's on my blog. So um, if you guys like me doing empty bottle reviews, then give me, please give me a thumbs up on this video and leave me a comment on anything that you think I should try. Maybe uh, whether it's health and wellness or beauty or whatever it is. If there's a product that you love and you want me to try and do a review or something you're thinking about getting and you don't want to and you want me to be your guinea pig, then leave that in the comments of what product it is and I will go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to first start with Paracone MD and this is a product from Dr. Paracone and what I purchased, I got this from Ulta and it was basically their sampler pack and it says the best of Paracone. It's a seven piece collection to help firm the skin and address sun damage. And this sample kit was, um, I think it was $95. I thought it said it on here. Yep. So this sample kit was $95, which is actually really good. And if you guys want to try a new product line, um, Ulta and Sephora, and I know other cosmetic places usually have like a lot of sample type lines where you can try everything at once. So you don't have to spend a fortune. And this is a really good example of it because, for instance, like the, the serum prep alone, the bottle, the real bottle is like this big, and it's $150 just for the bottle. So I, who wants to spend $150 on something when they are not even sure if they're going to like it? So this is a really great way for people to try products. So what does this have? This has Nutri Nutritive Cleanser Serum Prep, High Potency M... M I don't even know how to pronounce this, Amine, A-M-I-N-E facelift, high potency evening repair, neuropeptide firming moisturizer, high potency eye lift, and no foundation foundation. Um, the products I liked from this line is the serum prep, um, the cleanser, and um, the eye lift. I don't like it enough to buy it. These are, this is on the more expensive end of skincare and I have found products I like just as, just as equally as the Paracone for at least half the price. So for me, I'm not gonna purchase this again. Um, I, I it, the whole thing lasted maybe a month. Some of the stuff lasts a little bit longer, some of the stuff lasts a little bit less, but generally it was about a month's worth of supply and uh, I, I was like three quarters of the way through the month and I really was like, I have no idea what I feel about these products. The first couple of days I used them, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. I looked like I just got a facial. It was, my skin was really nice, it was glowing. And then that kind of just went away. So it was really weird. Um, I, I, like I said, I'm just not going to purchase this again. If you guys want to try it, I don't know if you have like, sun damaged skin, which I really don't, and this is for sun damaged skin. Um, if you have sun damaged skin, maybe give this a try because this may work better for people with sun damaged skin because that's really what it's targeted to do. It was the best of Paracone, which is why I wanted to try it because I heard so much about his line of, of skincare, so I wanted to try it. I haven't completely given up on Paracone, but I have given up on this specific line. All right, the other thing that I got, and I'm just gonna go through this one really quick. This one actually made it to my February favorites. February favorites. So obviously I love this product. It's the Lush Shampoo. And this bottle has been empty for at least a month and I can still smell it. I love the way this smells. I would go into Lush if you can and, and smell this first because it is a strong scent. And you know, when it comes to strong scents, you either have to love it and, or if you don't, you can't use it. Um, it's sea salt shampoo. So the texture is shampoo, but it has that kind of sea salt, like a salt scrub type texture. And then when you add water, it lathers up. What I do is I add just a little bit of water to the, the shampoo and lather up just enough to put my hair. And I actually use the salt to like kind of scrub my hair clean. And then I put more water in it so it lathers up and stuff. I have to say that this shampoo 
Um, it makes my hair so soft and it gives it so much volume that I am forever loving this shampoo. This is probably my new favorite product. Um, another thing was the Aveda Toning Mist. And this is another sample, well, it's not a sample size because I paid for it, but it's like the travel size and it's the Aveda Botanical Kinetics. I hate saying this because I'm not somebody who is um, clearing my entire home of animal tested products. I have a list of all the animal tested products and the list is extremely extensive. And if you guys see it, if you haven't seen it before and you're not familiar with animal testing products, I can almost guarantee you that you're using a lot of products that are being tested on animals. With that said, I am trying to get away from animal tested products and replacing the ones that are and replacing them with ones that are animal test free, if that makes sense. So I'm really trying hard to replace one by one, going through them, finding replacements and stuff and, and trying to, to replace it. With that said, I haven't completely replaced all the products. Aveda is one of them. I loved Aveda's products. I'm so sad that they do test on animals. So um, as far as the toner itself goes, it was okay. I actually like the Burt's Bees one better, um, which is great because obviously Burt's Bees is the product that I should be using instead. But Aveda, if any of you from Aveda's representatives are watching this, please get rid of the animal testing because I would love to go back to the Aveda products. I love the Aveda products. I love the Aveda salons and I'm just really sad that you guys do that. So goodbye to Aveda. So I'm obviously not buying that one again. Uh, okay, so I'm really big into aromatherapy and I know a lot of people don't like scents. I'm one of the people that loves different types of scents and smells in my home. Like I love using Scentsy and uh, I'm actually going to be putting one of the Scentsy products in my March favorites which will be posted next week. And so I'm really big on aromatherapy. So this one is from Bath and Body Works and it's their sleep formula and it's Lavender Chamomile Pillow Mist. Uh, the first couple of times I used this, I loved this, but I got really sick of the scent really fast. And so I, this took me forever to go through because I got kind of sick of it. So I'm not going to be buying this again. It's just a scent that you get tired of really fast. It's not really really natural scent. So it was okay the first week, but after that, no go. Um, two more products. And then this one is also from Bath and Body Works and it's their aromatherapy line and this one's a stress relief line and it's the eucalyptus spearmint. This is their luxury bath and I, I'm really big on bubble baths. So I use bubble baths all the time and uh, I don't know. It's it's one of those scents again that I kind of got tired of, eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus, but it wasn't a real eucalyptus essential oil. You could tell, you could tell it was fake. So I wasn't really that big of a fan of this. Won't be buying this one again either. All right, and the last product is makeup wipes. I go through these like crazy. I travel, I take makeup wipes with me and I use it at night and stuff. So this one's the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit. And I really like this. If it wasn't for the fact that I found one I like better, it smells really clean. Um, I actually, I'm using their Pink Grapefruit Body Wash right now that I really, really love. But if it wasn't for the fact that I found one I like better, which is Neutrogena's, uh, and I don't remember what it is. It's gonna make it into my March favorite. So just watch next week and you guys will see it. But I actually like the Neutrogena one better and it's half the price. So if it wasn't for the fact that I found one I like better, then this would definitely be a purchase again. But because I found one I like better that's cheaper, I'm not going to be buying this again. So that's my empty bottle review. Obviously it was kind of a miss with the last lines of products. Um, the Lush so far has been really awesome. But make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like my reviews and also let me know if you want me to try out any specific products. Next week I'm going to be doing a video on my March favorites and I have some really, really fun products that I fell in love with that I'm going to be sharing with you guys that I think is a must for you guys to do. Some of the videos that are coming up and let me know if you guys are interested. I'm going to be doing my Philofax video because I've had a couple people ask me how I organize because I have so many different things going on in my life and they ask me how I organize. So I'm going to show a video on my Philofax. And definitely tune in and subscribe to my channel because I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway with my Facts video. 
and I actually have also, I'm going to be doing a bubble bath video. I'm not going to be in the bath. I'm actually just going to be doing a tutorial, especially for guys. We have Mother's Day coming up. This is going to be a really great video, a how-to to put on your pampering spa bubble bath. And I'm going to be giving you some really cool, fun tips. Um, I've mastered the bubble bath. I am huge on bubble baths. I take them several times a week and I've been doing it for years. It is my way of unwinding. So I have gotten it down to science. So I'm gonna be sharing my tips and also let me know. I'm actually gonna be going to a wedding on Friday and I have been asked to do some makeup tips. I'm kind of hesitant because it's gonna be a big event. So it's gonna be event makeup. Uh, it's not the type of makeup I would wear every day. Um, so I'm kind of hesitant because I don't want people to think that this is how I wear my makeup all the time. I'm going to be full face, like fake eyelashes and everything. Uh, if you guys want to see a tip or tutorial and see me actually put my makeup on for the wedding, let me know in the comments, Just give me a thumbs up or something and I will go ahead and do that and I will try to squeeze in a more natural makeup day type of thing that I think most people will be more interested in. But if you want to see event makeup, give me a thumbs up, let me know in my comments, and I will go ahead and do that. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in.